everybody, it's Jason with JR Custom Designs. Uh, this is my first video. I got some new, a new camera, so hopefully this comes out a little bit better. Um, what I want to show you is, I believe I posted on it, but for some reason I can't find the video, so I'm going to redo it. Um, hopefully with a little bit more information. I'm going to switch between two different cameras I got set up. Um, so hopefully the sound will still pick up from, from this while I'm using the other camera to show you how the uh, removal tool works. Uh, this tool is for, or is designed around the boss laser. Um, there's several out there. Uh, different people make them different ways. This is my version. Um, the reason I came up with this is because um, some of the other versions just weren't quite big enough for what I needed. Because on my laser, as everybody else's, they come from the factory with the lens on the top of the uh, the top of the um, nozzle. So with that being there, using the other tools, it'd be fine. This one, it'll work on both. But I typically put my lens on the bottom for the two, two or one and a half, two and two and a half inch lenses. I put them on the bottom. And the reason I do that is because I want to be able to get as much clearance from things that I'm engraving as possible. Um, so that's why I do it. So this is the tool right here. All right. Um, it's got the, the piped end on it with the lugs to grab a hold of the the, um, the lens ring. And that's got a knurled end, something you can grab onto. Um, and also has a longer shaft, allows you to kind of quickly spin it on or off. Um, without further ado, I'm going to try to switch over to the other camera here if I can. And of course, it's not going to let me. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and use it with this camera. Alright, so what you're looking at is the, the nozzle. Um, right now I've got the four inch lens on there. I'm not going to change the lens out, um, but I will, I will, uh, change the position so you can see the different, uh, positions for the laser. And then off to the side over here, you'll see what I do with the piece. But anyways, first thing you do, machine's off, um, which is always good. If not, you want to make sure that your interlock works, um, First thing you do is you take your lens off, and here's your lens on the top. And like I said, with it on the top, that's how it comes from the factory, from Boss. Um, this fits down in there, nice and snug, and it grips the, the ring. Then with it on there, let's see if can do it this way. You just quickly spin it with your finger. Or however you want to do it. And this way you don't have to worry about scratching your lens if you uh, get it out of whack, like with the metal piece they give you from Boss. Um, and when you take the lens off, it rests nicely on there. It's easy to take off. It stays on there. Alright, so with that done next thing is is I dump out my lens okay and then you want to remove the cone whichever size cone you have on there don't matter um, now if you look down in here there's quite a bit more depth um, in there to where this tool has to reach in there whereas the shorter ones that other people have don't work um, same same principle. You're gonna take your lens with the curved side down. So you're gonna place it inside the housing with the curved side in the housing and the and the, the concave side facing out. So it's a little bit backwards from doing it before. But I like to take my towel, stick my finger in there with the towel, and then just drop the lens in there i use a towel on my fingertips so i don't get finger marks and it gives a nice um 
soft area for the, the, the lens to fall. Now we'll take a tool with the ring on it and screw it down. Till it's snug, okay? And then there you have the lens mounted on the bottom using this tool to mount it. Um, it allows you to reach down in there to, to mount that, that lens in there that way, okay? Now all you do is you put it back in and hook it up, set your autofocus depth, and you're pretty much done. Um, it's always good practice to go ahead and use the um, the autofocus on RD Works to set the mechan or the the machine stop, so it communicates with the laser. That way, it does it the same every time. Um, and after you do it for a while, you, you'll get to know where the stops are and, and what the numbers are for each lens and each cone configuration. Because when I'm using the the four inch on the top, I usually use a shorter cone because I don't want to. If I'm engraving, I don't want to. I want as little air hitting that object as possible, um, unless I'm using the two inch, and then I use my um, secondary air collar that forces the air and material away quickly, and it cools it off so it doesn't stick and reapply. And leave that that uh, slimy sludge on your your work. Um, all this stuff can be found. I mean, this is just something. It's also on the website. Um, so if you're interested, check it out. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, and or the the link to 